What happened next happened by mistake. Mary put some fragments of the bone in acid to dissolve away the outermost layer of mineral. But the acid worked too fast and all the mineral dissolved away. Being a fossil, there should have been nothing left. But there was, and it was elastic, like living tissue. This is the piece. <gasps> no. She showed us video she took under the microscope. That's really what happened? Yes. That's the dinosaur yeah. bone? Without mineral now. That's what was left. It looked like the soft tissue she would have expected to find if it had been modern bone. This was impossible. This bone was 68 million years old. So you see this and you think, what? You see, I didn't want to tell anybody. <laughs> You'd be ridiculed, yes. right? And so I, I said to my technician, okay, do it again. I don't believe it. And yet, in sample after sample, they were there. Things that looked suspiciously like flexible, transparent blood vessels. She finally mustered the courage to tell Jack. She said she dissolved the bone away and there were blood vessels. And, you know, I was like, shocked. I mean, how could that be? How could that be? That's right. The things Mary was finding inside dinosaur bones look at that blood vessels and even what seemed to be intact cells pose a radical challenge to the existing rules of science that organic material can't possibly survive even a million years let alone 68 million mary jack and their team published their b-rex findings in a series of papers in the journal science and were promptly attacked critics said their samples might have been contaminated or that the supposed blood vessels were actually something called biofilm, a type of slime. But as Mary showed us, she's been able to replicate her findings. These are pieces of an even older dinosaur, a well-preserved 80 million year old duckbill. When she dissolved it away in acid... Let's put this under the scope here. Well, look. Is that a blood vessel? This is a blood vessel. You see the branches right there? And look at all of them. And it's so consistent over and over and over again. We do this bone and it comes out and I get excited every time. I can't help it. I mean, 80 million years old. Mary published her new results last year. And while some of her critics have been swayed, the controversy still rages. And the stakes are high. If blood vessels can survive 80 million years, what about DNA? Young Earth creationists also see Schweitzer's work as revolutionary, but in an entirely different way. They first seized upon Schweitzer's work after she wrote an article for the popular science magazine Earth in 1997 about possible red blood cells in her dinosaur specimens. Creation magazine claimed that Schweitzer's research was powerful testimony against the whole idea of dinosaurs living millions of years ago. It speak volumes for the Bible's account of a recent creation. This drives Schweitzer crazy. Geologists have established that the Hell Creek formation where B. rex was found is 68 million years old and so are the bones buried in it. She's horrified that some Christians accuse her of, hind of hiding the true meaning of her data. They treat you really bad, she says. They twist your words and they manipulate your data. For her, science and re religion represent two different ways of looking at the world. Invoking the hand of God to explain natural phenomenon breaks the rules of science. After all, she says, what God asks is faith, not evidence. If you have all this evidence and proof positive that God exists, you don't need faith. I think he kind of designed it so that we'd never be able to prove his existence. I think that's really cool. <laughs> I think Mary Schweitzer is terribly worried about losing her job, which is why she says in the beginning of this that she was too f afraid to tell Jack what she had found.